What's up guys, this is Adrian with Scrape Creators and today I wanted to go over scraping the meta ad library. So here, if you're not familiar, you have the meta ad library where you can search for anything. So we're gonna go all ads and then let's say we wanna search for Lululemon ads. And this is just the keyword, so we're going to get yeah, some kind of random results. We can also search for the company. So if we grab this one, then we'll get all of the company's ads. And then very powerful because you can see if they're still active, when they started running. And then you can see in the JSON, but you can't see in the UI when the ad actually stops running as well. And this you can see what platforms it's running on. And then obviously like all of the copy links, where it goes to. So yeah, redirects there, the videos, images, all that good stuff. So I built a scraper for the ad library and I have scrapers for Facebook, Meta, Google Ads, and LinkedIn. So those three ad libraries. So you have ad details, search, company ads, and search for companies. So just to demonstrate, we want to search for a company like Lululemon or TikTok and then get all of their ads, just like what we did here. So let's go ahead and do that. So obviously sign up for a Scrape Creators API key, and that's app.scrapecreators.com. And then we want to first search for the company because we need to get their page ID and then get all of their, their ads. So we're going to use this endpoint search companies. Yeah, so V1, Facebook, library search, and then companies. And that is this endpoint right here. Yep. And if you don't wanna listen to me or code this yourself, you can copy this and then let AI do its job and do it for you. Sometimes it makes some mistakes, obviously, but it's pretty good if I do say so myself. So we're going to set up that endpoint as well as actually getting the company ads. And so that one is this one where we're actually getting their ads. So it requires a page ID. And then if we want to get more, we just add the cursor to it, to the query parameters. These are all get requests. And then you can filter by country or status, but we just wanna get one page of the ad. So that's what we're going to do here. We're gonna search by company name, in this case, Lululemon. And then we're gonna get the company ID by keying into search results and get the zeroth position, because that's normally going to be the actual company that we're looking for, and then get the page ID. And then we're going to pass that page ID Maybe I should have called that page ID instead of company ID. And we are going to get the ads. And then we're going to log those and then just write them to our file. So let's go ahead and do it. Facebook ads. And this code is available on GitHub as well. In the Scrape Creators examples repos. Boom. And then if we want more ads, we just pass this cursor to get company ads on Facebook ad library and then we should get more. Spend, that's really interesting, right? And would be really awesome if we got, but normally this is just for political ads. You don't get the spend, unfortunately, for all of the ads, but you can see start date and end date for these ads. And to tell if an ad is doing well is if it just runs for a long time. So so if you've ever heard of this, this software called Foreplay, you know, this is exactly what they're doing. So you could, yeah, so you could really sort of copy that software or make your own if you have your own internal workflow or needs with this API. So you get some really good information. This is the actual ad ID. So if we want to see it actually on the ad library, let's go right here to the URL and we can see it here. So let's search for the text we dare you to. That's probably gonna be in the snapshot. So yep, yeah, it's right there. We dare you to. That's the caption. And here's all the, they call them cards. So I believe, yeah, these are all like the variations. So you have cards. So you'll have different image URLs, which you get right there. And then you get where the link is going to. So if you click on the add link, it's gonna send you here. And then you could follow that link and take a screenshot of where that is and you can copy this stuff there. Title, caption, CTA, text, CTA type, video if it's there, yeah. And again, you get the start and end date. So yeah, it's 
pretty much it. So if you want to check that out and scrape those ads, check out scrapecreators.com and you can scrape the Facebook ad library or meta ad library, Google and LinkedIn. So good luck.